So we're going to walk through the pulmonary and the systemic circuit. Uh, remember, your heart is basically the pump that is pumping your blood through the body. And your heart is a side, it's basically it's side by side pumps. Um, and so let's draw a picture and talk a little bit about these. So again, I'm going to just draw a heart here. Your heart looks very different from this one. <laughs> and I'm going to draw a line down the middle. Okay, so uh, when I say that your heart is basically a pump and it's side by side pumps, um, we actually divide the heart into a right side and a left side. Now remember anatomic position, so it's the right of the patient. Um, so what we're going to find is that the right side, this is going to be taking oxygen poor blood into the right side. And this oxygen poor blood is actually coming from the body. It's coming from your body tissues. Um, so as your cells are going through uh, metabolic reactions, they're creating waste, they're creating CO2, there's no oxygen left anymore. And that is blood we call spent blood that's gonna come back into the right side of the heart, okay? Now the right side of the heart is then going to pump that spent blood out to the lungs. And the lungs are gonna take the CO2 and allow you to blow it out. And then they're gonna fill up that blood with oxygen. So every time you breathe in, that oxygen goes from your lungs into your bloodstream. So now we have this nice oxygen rich blood and it's gonna come back into the left side of the heart. And then the left side of the heart is gonna pump that oxygen rich blood out to your body's tissues. Your tissues are going to go through metabolic reactions. Your cells uh, are going to use up that oxygen and cell respiration. They're going to create CO2 and waste. And that spent blood is going to come back to the right side of the heart. So we go through this process all over again. Now, this is just a very like simple drawing of what's going on, but you can really quickly see here that the right side of the heart is really dealing with oxygen poor blood. So oxygen poor blood is coming to the right side of the heart. The right side is going to pump it to the lungs so that we can fill it up with oxygen. The left side of the heart is taking oxygen rich blood from the lungs and pumping it out to the body. Okay, so when we talk about your heart, we always say that it's sort of this um, two sided pump. So when we look at this diagram here, we actually divide this up into the pulmonary and the systemic circuit. So at the top up here, the circuit that is supplying, oops, the circuit that's supplying the lungs here, this is the pulmonary circuit. Right, pulmonary means lung. The circuit down here that's supplying your body's tissues is the systemic circuit. Now, I remember that because I think of your organ systems. So this is going to supply blood to all of your tissues, all of your organs, and your organ systems. So it's systemic. Um, it also means that it's going throughout the whole body. Um, and you're gonna bring that oxygen poor blood back. So those are really our two circuits, the pulmonary circuit and the systemic circuit. So let's pop back over to our PowerPoint. And again, we have kind of walked through everything that is on this slide. We just did it on the whiteboard. So this is looking at an image of the heart in the thoracic cavity. Um, and you can see that um, the heart sits right next to the lungs. Um, and um, if I draw a line to separate the right and left side of the heart, one thing that I wanna point out here is that the line's not gonna be straight up and down. The heart sits um, a little uh, diagonal in the thoracic cavity and the pericardial cavity. So specifically. And so if I were going to draw a line between the left and right sides, the line would look more like this. Okay. And we would say that this is the right side and this is the left side of that double pump of the heart. So I want to dig a little deeper into um, the heart itself and into these pulmonary and systemic circuits. So I showed you Let's go back to this whiteboard that we've been using. Okay, so I showed you just a very simple drawing. 
Um, and I said that um, we can divide the heart into a right and left side. There's actually inside the heart, it's not two chambers, it's four chambers. So let's draw another line here. And now we're dividing the heart into four chambers because that's really what we find in the heart, four different chambers. So we have, again, this is our right side. We have a right, I'm gonna write A, right atrium, and we have a left atrium. So the atria are these smaller chambers that sit towards the top of the heart. And we call the atria the receiving chambers. So the blood that's coming into the heart is coming into the atria. Now, just under the atria are the ventricles. So we have a right ventricle and we have a left ventricle. And the ventricles are what we call the pumping chambers. So they're actually going to be pumping the blood. So I'm going to have to fix this drawing just a little bit. Um, especially over here on the right side. The left side looks fine. So let's fix the right side so that we can see that that oxygen poor blood is coming in again to the atria because that's our receiving chamber. And then it's going to pump to the lungs through the ventricle, that right ventricle. Okay, so we had to fix that just a little bit because that first drawing didn't have my four chambers in there. And so we've just added to this drawing, we've added the four chambers, the atria and the ventricles. Okay, so let's go back to our PowerPoint. All right, so again, the receiving chambers are the atria, the pumping chambers are the ventricles. Um, this is uh, an image from a textbook, and this is showing you the same thing that I drew, just much prettier <laughs> than what I drew. Um, and what we can see here is, again, we can see our heart. Um, we can see the lungs above the heart here. We can see the human body down here. So this is trying to show you the same thing. So it is showing you above here, this is our pulmonary circuit. And down below, this is the systemic circuit. Um, and again, you know, we can follow through here and see, okay, we've got the oxygen poor blood is leaving our body tissues. It's blue in color and it is moving up into that right atrium. I just did that in a blue color. It's kind of hard to see, but it's moving into the right atrium. Okay. Remember the atria here, this is our receiving chamber. Um, now that blood is going to go from the right ventricle, which is down here, which is our pumping chamber, and it's going to get pumped out to the lungs, okay? And then we would say that uh, from the lungs, the lungs are going to fill it up with oxygen, and from there, it's going to come back into the heart, and this time it's coming in over here on the left side into the left, ventr left atrium. Remember, atria are receiving chambers, and then it's going to move into this left ventricle down here, which is a pumping chamber, and it's going to get pumped out to your body's tissues. And that will happen over and over and over again. 